Okay, so I know that the common background of uh, almost every YouTubers have a bright, white, minimalistic, uh, clean looking background. All right, and uh, mine is totally opposite. <laughs> Dark, very uh, um, ornamental and uh, brown and uh, the old Italian decor but that's all right I just do whatever I can do uh, since I don't uh, live in the minimalist uh, um, interior um, apartment okay so uh, this is my thing uh, yeah for your information uh, I'm going through some kind of struggle uh, sufficient to say and um, well I'm just taking it as a challenge it's not uh, uh, an easy challenge because I've never had this experience before but um, I'll try to find the solution uh, the best I can because also at the same time uh, I like to leave it to the universe to uh, pave me the way of which path to take because I I'm a very much believer in that since uh, I've uh, had a lot of uh, uh, anecdotes examples uh, in my life that uh, uh, let me to believe in that so right at this moment yes I'm uh, at the, at the, I'm in a spot to tell you uh, frankly but uh, the reason why I wanted to share with you because I just wanted to share how life is you know because these last four days that I've been uh, spending my time with my uh, girlfriend who also lost her husband three months ago we talked a lot about life in general but also uh, in some specific uh, um, uh, parts of it which was very very interesting and uh, we are or the, we are we are of the same mind so that's most important so anyway um, I'm learning I'm learning you know in life you can never never stop learning never say to yourself okay that's it you know I now uh, uh, can relax Yes, you can relax, but life is ongoing and it has always its ups and downs and you just have to ride the way on the waves and that's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes it's not easy, but that's where the willpower is, uh, is being tested upon you and have to do it. You know, I'm used to having a husband. I'm used to uh, uh, doing things uh leisurely without having to think because my uh, late husband uh, took care of everything uh, in terms of finance in terms of you know since this is his country so he would take care of all the the the, the procedures of uh, staying permits of visas of uh, uh, you know just putting me right away to Italian school so that I could learn his language without uh, uh, me even asking for it he did it all uh, for me and for us so yes I admit I'm spoiled because I didn't have to think about anything he always was there to to think uh, uh, preemptively uh, or to assist me whenever I needed uh, help and here I am three years uh, on and uh, I thought the first year when uh, I just lost my husband uh, it was God's way maybe things were easier uh, everything just seemed to fell, fall into places uh, in terms of uh, uh, situations because I didn't know where I was going to live whether in Italy or in Indonesia that's why I couldn't even make up my mind whether to allow the tenant in Indonesia to uh, sign a contract for four years uh, uh, rent in my villa there and I resisted I just gave them uh, one year 
<sighs> Unbeknownst to me, that, that was a mistake, you see? That was a mistake. I should have given him the four-year full contract because that's what he was offering me. And then he even begged me to ask for the two years rental. He said to me, Meta, please, okay, if you don't want to give us four years rental uh, uh, a lump sum, because I'm going to pay you all lump sum, uh, please give me two years because I really don't feel like moving out from your villa anymore, from your place anymore. And I kept saying no, because to tell you frankly, I just lost my husband and I couldn't find exactly, you know, where my food still, you know, I don't know whether to live in Italy or to live in Indonesia. So he caught me also at a bad time where I wasn't prepared because but it was a luck. I, it was a luck that fell uh, into my uh, onto my laps because I lost my husband in March, and by May I already got the tenant who couldn't wait to move into my villa. So that's why I could uh, leave Indonesia and come back again to Italy and live in this apartment. So, anyways, uh, sometimes you know you are caught in a situation where you don't know how to 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 i don't know to to stir yourself into because you 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 you're you're lost and you just made make a decision where you think it's it's the right decision and that was the wrong the wrong decision that i made so anyway no regrets because uh, if that had happened then i wouldn't have uh, been able to spend one year in jakarta last year uh, no, 2015 to 2016, end of it, uh, there, and then with uh, two months with Tanya, who, who spent some time with me in the house together, just the two of us. So that was beautiful. So I don't regret. But as a result, this is where I am now, at this point, where I just have to find a getaway to uh, carry on, because... Uh, I'm waiting for the for my villa again to be rented or whoever uh, gives me a good offer to buy it then yes I will let go because it's too big for me to live by myself there so uh, there there it is my my um, uh, predicament at the moment uh, in the meantime I've been uh, enjoying myself with friends unplanned I had the four, three uh, lady friends who came here uh, spending some wonderful time with me so that was a nice break such a welcome break that i didn't expect to 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 to, to come and now my girlfriend who was here for a few days also we spent a wonderful time together also that i didn't expect it wasn't planned so i'm really really grateful for all that and uh, uh, we had a good laughter um, Either with my girlfriend, just uh, the one who just left today, and the the the, la the three lady friends I had um, a few weeks ago. So it's 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 beautiful, <laughs> and, and it just opened my eyes that you know, and it reconfirms also my belief that you know you don't have to plan in life. Yes, you can plan the for the immediate action of of course, but you don't have to plan so far long you know uh, at least that is my belief and because things just laid out in front of you uh, delightfully and happily and wonderfully so just take it easy uh, uh, nobody is perfect nobody's life is perfect we just have to uh, be content with what we are we we have and what we, we are blessed with so uh, that's it my uh sunday uh talk with you um i don't go to church every sunday i am a christian but i'm not a practice christian that i go to the church every sunday but i believe so much in god and i'm very spiritual and believe so much in the positive uh, uh, uh positivity uh, attitude speaking nice uh, uh, things with the constructive and productive and uh, positive words all the time and uh, always be believe in goodness of everyone i don't like cynicism 
I don't like sarcasm, but sometimes uh, there are moments when it requires of you to apply that. But please apply it sparingly, sparingly. All right. So that's my day today. Just staying at home. I just wash my hair and leaving it dry naturally. And um, hope you're having a lovely, restful Sunday. And um, have a lovely and wonderful time. Bye. Oh, please thank you so much for watching my uh, video, uh, whether on Facebook page or on YouTube. Please subscribe. And then afterwards, when everything is going smooth with my YouTube channel, then I will I shall explain to you what it is that I'm doing with my YouTube channel. And I'm also going to make my blog, uh, blog, not vlog, but blog uh, more professional uh, in terms of also uh, to, to, you know, to monetizing it. So in the meantime, I go on with my vlog as natural, spontaneous, and just as it is, as you can see, uh, no frills, uh, no um, uh, perfection on my video, all right? So you have a nice day. Okay, bye. Peace. Be miraculous. Be uh, magnificent. And be marvelous. Mm -hmm.